Mr. Salta here, back playing in the lab. I'm running a uh, six neutral plates uh, with one positive and one negative plate, uh, kind of building on a little bit of what Zero Fossil Fuels had done, trying out the neutrals because uh, just getting a lot of iron build up supposedly from overriding the voltage, uh, getting the voltage down to uh, two volts between each plate. And let's see, I'm running at uh, seven amps according to my battery charger there, which has been pretty accurate. I've compared it to the one I had on the bus. And um, this is what you get. Now I've mounted this uh, unit here uh, to an ultrasonic uh, transducer. I wanted to see what ultrasonics would do that's a way of vibrating the water and it's come up with some interesting uh, just data it's not really producing any more gas but I want you to watch what happens here when I uh, turn it on you see how cloudy the water is it's pretty normal you know you get milky water when you are uh, uh, got the unit running so take a look at this But you may not be able to see in the video. I know you can see it clearing up, but what it's doing is uh, it looks like it's making the bubbles larger and making them collide and uh, bond to each other and rise to the top. And I was uh, interested to see if that was making it more efficient as far as not having the uh, microfine bubbles uh, turn back into water. Um, got my little bubbler set up over here and. Uh, the bubbles really aren't aren't any different than um, without the ultrasonics running. But right now, like I said, the ultrasonics are on. And I just turned it back off, and you'll watch the water cloud cloud back up. It'll turn back into microfine bubbles. You can see here. I don't have a whole lot of confidence in this bubbler as my unit here is. I believe it's leaking. I've been plagued with uh, vacuum leaks. So I don't have a whole lot of confidence in it up here around the top. The, the top seal here got real hot uh, when I had it in the bus this past week and uh, it's warped. I am using a polycarbonate bottle these days but that's just a really hot engine compartment. And especially it's not so hot when you're running down the road but if you're sitting at a stoplight or something like that it uh, can get pretty darn hot. So um, I'll turn the ultrasonics back on. You can see how the, the gas just immediately lifts off into much, much larger, larger bubbles. I'll turn it back off. Let it fill back in. I think it's a really interesting effect. I haven't seen anyone else uh, messing with ultrasonics, or at least on YouTube haven't seen much on it and maybe this is why they're not getting a big benefit from it but um, it might prove beneficial in keeping the plates clean as well and if you're interested in how many how much energy the ultrasonics are taking it's taking less than 40 watts uh, to run the ultrasonics and uh, so this has been, been pretty interesting to see okay I'm gonna cut it back on now You can see how the bubbles are combining and getting larger. I thought that was pretty interesting. Now turn it back off. Turn it back on. Anyway, um, if you have any thoughts, feel free to post them, and thanks for watching. Over and out for now.